In today's episode, we cover CVE 2025 53786, a high severity vulnerability in Microsoft Exchange Server hybrid deployments that can lead to privilege escalation. Disclosed in August 2025, this issue stems from guidance and configuration steps introduced in April 2025. Both Microsoft and CESA have issued alerts and directives, urging organizations, especially federal civilian agencies, to apply the April 2025 hotfix and implement updated security configurations to close this gap. CVE 2025-53786 affects multiple versions of Microsoft Exchange Server used in hybrid cloud setups. Subscription edition RTM releases prior to 15.2.2562.017, Exchange 2019 cumulative updates before 15.2.1748.024 and 15.02.54.25, and Exchange 2016 cumulative update 23 versions prior to 15.02.01.2507.055. The vulnerability arises in environments where on-premises exchange is integrated with Office 365 or Azure in hybrid configurations. This floor is classified under CWE 287, improper authentication. In essence, certain configuration steps intended to strengthen hybrid deployments inadvertently introduced an authentication gap. Attackers who can reach exchange endpoints under these configurations may leverage the gap to elevate privileges and gain unauthorized access to administrative functions. On April 18th, 2025, Microsoft rolled out security guidance and a non-security hotfix to improve hybrid exchange deployments. Subsequent analysis revealed that portions of the guidance exposed an authentication vector. An attacker able to interact with the affected exchange service could bypass expected authentication checks, move laterally, and escalate privileges within the hybrid environment. In response, CISA issued Emergency Directive 250A02 for federal civilian agencies and added CVE 2025-53786 to its known exploited vulnerabilities catalog. Microsoft's recommended mitigation is to install the April 2025 hotfix or any later update and apply the revised configuration steps exactly as documented. CVE 2025-53786 underscores how even well-intentioned security changes can introduce new risks. Administrators running hybrid exchange server should prioritize installing the latest updates follow Microsoft's revised guidance and monitor systems for any signs of unauthorized access. By acting quickly, organizations can close this privilege escalation path and maintain the integrity of their hybrid email infrastructure.